Hello, everyone. If you like what I'm doing here, please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting. It would really help the channel out quite a bit. Thank you very much. Me next. The Old West, rugged frontier of a young nation, where strong men live by the strong law of personal justice. The Old West, whose stories are a fabulous chapter in the history of the nation. Told best by the greatest of all Western authors, Zane Gray. Broadcasting System presents the Zane Gray Show, featuring the adventures of Tex Thorne. Zane Gray, who wrote Riders of the Purple Sage, Light of the Western Stars, and other immortal stories of the West. And tonight, the Zane Gray Show brings you Trouble in Paradise Valley. <laughs> yesterday when we come riding out of the canyon into Paradise Valley. Me, Sandy Fletcher, and my side partner, Tex Thorne. A beautiful day it was, with the sun hitting the canyon walls and the valley opening out ahead. Broken Bow Ranch lying off in one direction, and the Lazy H in another. Yeah, the day was pretty. And like a pretty woman, it was made for trouble, too. You can come this far, sweetheart. But if you move a step further, I'll let daylight through you. Careful with that gun, Carlotta. Just turn tail, hunt, and keep riding. You must be crazy talking that way. This gun keeps looking your way until you make yourself scarce. You've got the look of a man that aims to ride across Lazy H. As long as I'm owner, I'm preventing you. You talk like you owned all of Paradise Valley. I aim to. And what makes you think you can grab all the creation anyhow? Lazy H was here in Paradise before anybody ever heard of Broken Bow. You trying to tell me there ain't room for both of us? That's what I'm telling you. We need all the grazing land we can get for our own cattle. If you've got too much cattle, why don't you think you're herded? Why should I? There'll be plenty of grass after your outfit's moved. After I've moved? Listen to me, Carlotta. I came here on a government grant and filed it proper. I've worked in slaves to build up Broken Bow, and Broken Bow will stay in paradise till the kingdom come. You're asking for trouble, Steve, and you're going to get it. I don't fight with women. You don't need to hide behind that excuse. If you was just a man... Don't let that stop you. If you want you to go right ahead... a woman coming? Probably. Well, I'm not wearing a gun. But you tell him for me that next time he rides on broken bow range, I'll be ready for him. And for me. I told you I don't fight with women. Easy, boy. Bye, Miss Carla. Buck, I'm over here. Jeez, so bad. Oh, what a penny. Who are you? A woman. And what a woman. Hey, you two, hold up there. Yes, yes ma'am. You, uh, speaking of us? What is this, a welcoming committee? You heard me. Hey, now, wait a minute, ma'am. Move. Welcome to Paradise Valley. I said move. Are you coming? Yes, yeah, ma'am. And, uh... Likely to take that piece of iron away from you before you hurt somebody, man. Nobody will get hurt by accident. I can use a gun. Do we see that? Well, it's a nice thing to know. I feel safer, don't you, Sandy? No. Where are you heading? Why, we was riding... I heard to... there uh, was need for a couple of good hands in the valley, so... Uh... Who sent for you? Steve Hunt? Was that him riding off? He a friend of yours? Why, sure. No, no, I can't say I know him at all. Seems like he ain't too popular. What's it to you? Well, you see, oh, I guess I'd better do some introducing. My name's Thorne, Tex Thorne. This is my sidekick, Sandy Fletcher. Howdy, ma'am. We were looking for jobs. We thought there might be something in our line here in Paradise Valley. 
What is your line? Whatever the boss says to do. You look smart, Thorne. Well, I guess I'm smart enough to want to be with the right outfit. You might be useful at that. We sure like to be. My name's Carlotta Brooks. I own the Lazy Eight. Go see Buck Gut Dan to my foreman. Tell him I said to hire you. What are we supposed to do, ma'am? Buck Gander will tell you at the proper time. Okay, Buck. Is this one all right for you, Tex? Sure. Uh, well, you want to get a few things straight. I generally hire my own men, but I won't hold it against you that Miss Carlotta gave you the job. Well, you're uh, working for Miss Carlotta, too, ain't you, Miss Gander? Well, uh, yeah. You boys look like you can take care of yourselves. You'll have no trouble here. You can also take orders. I'm mighty happy to take orders, Mr. Gander. Anybody that can give them. What do you want us to do first, Buck? I want you to get acquainted with the other hand. Bud, Joe, come over here. These two new men, Sandy Fletcher and Tex Thorne. Hi. Hi. Howdy. Glad to know you. Likewise. And here's my right-hand man, Slim Edwards. Howdy, man. Welcome to Lazy H. Thanks, Slim. Slim's a ramrod of this outfit. When I'm not around, what he says goes. I see. Now, one other thing. There's an outfit here in Paradise called Broken Bowl. Yeah, I've heard of it. You have, huh? Well, when we go to town, the Lazy H generally drinks at the Al Saloon. The Broken Bowl don't come in there. Save trouble. Oh, somebody wants to make trouble. That's taken care of, too, Thorne. You'll find out. Boss, will you come out here? Uh, make yourselves at home, fellas. Yeah, sure. Want me, Miss Carlotta? Buck, what do you think about two new men? Well, I generally like to hire my own gun hands. Gun hands? Sure. Let's talk out in the open, Carlotta. I don't want any killing, Buck. I told you that. Who's talking about killing? There's another way to get Steve Hunt out of Paradise Valley. How? Nothing for a woman to worry about. Just let me take care of it. If you can't tell me what you're planning to do, then I don't want it done. Your poor would have done the same. My father never hired killers. I worked for your Paul. I think I know the way he'd handle things. It wouldn't be a woman's way. Mr. Gander, how'd you like to hunt another job? <laughs> Who would fill my place? Maybe this new rider, Tex Thorne. Nobody fills my place, Carolina. you got a pretty good opinion of yourself, haven't you, Buck? There's no sense to you and me fighting. I don't propose to fight with you. You don't get me. I'm talking about the future of Lazy H. What about it? Needs a man to head it up. What's the matter, Buck? Don't you like a woman, boss? Well, to tell you the truth... I know it's hard sometimes, but I'm trying to run it just like my dad would have. It takes a man to do that. I suppose so, but I've tried anyway. Sure you have. But I figure you ought to know something. What? This. You'll get to like me. I ain't so bad as you think, Carlotta. You can learn to like me after a while. Once we're married, why... Just show you a little kiss. Get out. Get out of here. Nobody hits me without getting hit back. Will you get out? Sure. Sure. Huh? Oh, Had a little trouble with the boss, huh? How much of that did you see? She throws a mean punch at gal. Sure rocks you, Buck. And man, how you rock back. <laughs> I like to die. You think it's funny, Slim? Well, no. No, I guess it ain't too funny. I'm in a mood to... Hey, Buck, let go of my collar. Get, get your... Let me break your neck. Oh. Boy. See? See, what is this? This little clown is... I didn't mean anything. No, maybe not. Come on. 
We're riding into town. You got something I want to buy. At the Owl Saloon, huh? That's where you're going. You keep the other end. He's busy drinking up. That takes a roll. Here. That's a big enough. Where are you going? I told you. I'm going to buy something. Now, let's get riding. <laughs> Fill him up. Fill him up again, Stubby. Heat and supplies. This here Tex Thorne is the kind of new man we like to have around. Uh, yeah. He's got a fast treating hand anyway. How do you mean that, Joe? Well, I just that we hear Tex Thorne is fast with a gun hand, too, Sam. Oh, you not. hear a lot of talk, Joe. Well, I... Hello, Sam. I... Tex Thorne. Thorne, you old son of a gun. Yeah, I said, how are you? You fellas met Thor? I never saw this cowpoke folk before. Tex, what's got into you? This is me, Steve Hunt. Sorry, mister, I don't know you. Don't bother me. What? What's that you say? Well, it looks like you ain't going to be popular with our new hand, Steve. New hand? That's what I've been trying to tell you. That's right, Thorn. You riding for the Lazy Eight? Yeah. A hired gun hand. Maybe. Can I take my chances to cover you in a gunfight with a lead fly? Somebody else, mister, not me. And now I find you throwing in with a bully outfit, hired to run honest people off their land. I'm sorry, mister, I just don't get you. <laughs> my friend. Well... If you're going to shoot me, Thorne, you might as well get about it here and now. Stand up. Slim, I don't know what the gentleman's talking about. Stand up. If you will excuse me, no, you don't. You seem to have a hold of my arm, mister. Get away from me. Get away and draw. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Mr. Hunt. Just because I don't know you, that's no reason to go for a gun. I said draw. He called you, Thorne. What are you going to do? Nothing. Yeah, I've called him all right. I've called him a spineless, double-crossing cur. You all through, Mr. Hunt? I'm through. Well, I'll be seeing you. Well, what do you know? Kill her. But why would you do it, Thorn? Oh, I didn't have any orders to join in a gunfight, Miss Carlotta. Well, it seems to me like there's some orders a man gets from himself. Such as? Such as being called what I'm told Hunt called you. That wasn't any cause for killing. You wouldn't need to kill them. But when a man backs out in public, it does something to him. Inside. It must. Don't you feel it, Tex? I don't know what I'm feeling, man. About the same as usual, I'd say. You say that after you disgrace us all? Every lazy hand fighter? They'd have backed you up. Don't you understand that? Well, it wouldn't have been so brave of me to draw Mr. Hunt now, would it? No. Well, I got no fight with Hunt. He didn't back down. Now, here he's the poorest man with a gun in the valley. Steve always was a brave man. What? What do you mean, always? Well, uh, Miss Carlotta, I'm going to give you some advice. You should fire that buck. He's a dangerous man. He's going to get you into trouble. You'd do a lot better to work with your neighbors instead of against them. You mean the broken bow? Yeah. So you're all afraid of Steve Hunt. I just think there's room for both of you. Lady Ace is top ranch here in Paradise, and it's going to stay that way. You mean there isn't any room for new folks? Not for broken bows. This thing goes back a long time, Tex. And it's going to be settled like my father used to settle things. I hear your father was considerable of a man. He wouldn't have crawfished by Hugh Benoon. 
Pet Squad to do it. I'm a peaceable man. I don't understand you, Pat. I'm looking at you. You're not a coward. Thanks. I like you, Pat. But something tells me not to trust you. I guess I'll have to get you straightened out, Carlotta. You started a ring war. I started what? What started's got to be finished. Lazy H is going to take in the whole of Paradise Valley. And we're the Lazy H. Yeah. Me and you, Carlotta. Buck, you've got two hours to pack the gear and go. Don't you hear me? I said get off this ranch. Who's going to put me on? <laughs> Some side partner you got. Speaking to me, Joe? Yeah. How can you hang around with a yellow liver like Thorn? I didn't hear you guys speaking up when Hunt was offering to make a little trouble. Now, Joe, try to call my friend, Sandy. Hunt wasn't talking to me. You know who Hunt was talking to me. A drifting gum hand without the kisser to throw back at him. I heard that, Joe. Yeah? What do you want to make of it? He's telling you I'm a feasible man. Hex, are you going to... Live let... business, Sandy. Man, you're real yellow. Just say that to me, Joe. Go on. Whoa, say it to whoa, me. whoa. Pull up, Sandy. We're not here to take a bunch out the roll. Yeah, I reckon not. Oh, what's this? You still around, Thorne? Oh, yeah, yeah, Mr. Gander. I wonder if I can talk to you for a minute. All right. I want to talk to you, too. Yeah, all right, Mr. Gander. Yeah, I'm your question now. Well, I wanted to ask you about those burlap bags. What was that? Bags, you think? Yeah, those burlap bags you brought out from town. What about them? Well, one of those bags sprung a little leaf, Mr. Andrew, and they stored in the tool chair. So? I saw what you got in. What do you think it is? What? I thought it was salt, Mr. But it was salt. And don't you forget it. No, sir, I won't. Now, I, I hear something about Sandy and me drawing our time and riding on. Still was on. I think I can still use you. Yeah? You don't like Steve Hunt, so I'm going to give you a way to get back at it. <laughs> yeah. Right. This is uh, kind of hard to say, but uh, Miss Carlotta has just told me that I'm foreman. You? Uh-huh. And she also says that uh, you're to get off the ranch. How does that stack up with you? Well, there's two ways to play. Keep talking. The one is that we put you off a lazy age. Keep first. And the other? Well, to tell you the truth, Buck, I got no denial for you. I'm like that fellow Thor. You're talking good sense, man. Well, the way I figured, the boys are going to do what you tell them, just like they always have. To. You got a good, smart head on your shoulders, Slim. And uh, furthermore, I also been figuring the real boss here. It's always been you, ever since you've been Correct. I don't need to make no trouble. Only, Only what? When you take over for good, then. I want my kid. You'll get it, Flint. I'm taking over. Now. Yeah. How about Steve Hunt? I'm taking over the whole blame rally. I got a way to fix Steve. Perfect. And use the two new hands to do it. So the blame won't wild lie with lazy eight. The two new hands, Tex and Sandy. Yeah. yeah. Never did like that, Tex. This old thing. Well, Buck, I thought you knew they rode off about an hour ago. What? Yeah. Broad daylight? Well, that ain't right. I told him to wait till it got dark. Uh, did they have those burlap bags along with them? They sure did, Buck. That drifter tried to fool me. Well, there's still another way to settle a broken bow. Yeah, what? Get the men together. We're riding out. Oh, gunfight, eh? Well, I figure it's about time. <laughs> Where's she going? I don't know. You think she heard us? She's right behind the barn. Well, I'm going to find out. You get the men and ride after me. (laughs) 
Don't get off that horse, Thorne. Now, just a minute, Steve. This is broken pole. Lazy Ace is off that way. Watch him think he's going to draw on you. So you come for a shootout. Now, hold it. Hold up there, Steve. I'll make it. Uh, uh, it's gun right out of my hand. I have you, Steve. I didn't want to hurt you. You don't shoot like that. Let me take it down before all the lazy... Don't you understand, Steve? I've been working for you all the time. Working for me? I haven't forgot what you did for me. I only thought that Sandy and I could be more used to you if we spent a while in the enemy camp. Of course. I was crazy to think you'd turn on me. I should have known. I had to make the play to fool Buck Gander. And I called now. Oh, forget it, Steve. You were a mite riot, weren't you? So. But that's all in the past. Now, you and I got a problem to think about right now. You're talking about lazy eats. I'll stand for the showdown in the Show him one of those bags, Sandy. Sure. Look here. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. See that stuff that looks like rock salt? Yeah, what is it? I reckon when it was made, it was intended for child's poison. It works just as good on cattle. Buck Gander was going to have us put it in your water hole. Instead of just taking it along when we finally pulled out. Oh, the low down. Like it looks like Carlotta. Yeah, it is. She's better take cover till we find out if she's in a shooting mood. Get out. Come on. Come on. Were. You know now, Miss Carlotta, your foreman was going to poison my water. Steve, I know it's my fault, but I've still got to tell you, you've got more than poison to worry about. What's that? Buck's going to try to make it an open war, too. He's coming here with all that lazy ass. You, you got him down. Yeah, we'll see about well, now, that. Now, wait, Steve. You can't make a stand in that ranch house. They tell you full of holes. There was a way to stop them before they get here. How's that? Stop Gander. The rest of them will hold off if he's taken out of the place. I think he's coming right behind me. That's good. Now, you stay here. I'm going to meet him down by the bridge. This is my business. I'm making it that way. That's far enough, Buck. What? Now, climb down and get off the trail here. I'll pick up your gun. You shouldn't have tried to pull on me, Buck. What do you want? You're going to stop a range war before it gets started. What's your deal in this, Thorn? I've been telling you. I'm a peaceable man. No peaceable man could have drawn that fast. Sometimes you got to make peace with a little lead forethought. You caught me when I wasn't ready for you. And your lanny's riding up? Yeah. <laughs> you figure you can take on all of them, too? You're going to tell them to turn back. Sure. I say you are. How are you going to make me? I'm going to play it your way, Buck. Yeah? What did you do if you was me? Why, I... You'd did. keep a gun on me and keep me between you and those gunslingers. If you knew what's coming they to gotta you... they got to shoot you to get to me. You're not going to... I'm going to be right behind you. The other side of this boat. Now, call to him. I'm warning you, Thorn. I'm not going to... Go on and call him. Slim, Joe, Bud, pull up there. What's your idea, Bud? I, uh, I changed my mind. Uh, right back to the ranch. You what? Will you do what I tell you? Well, sure, Bud, sure. Hey, uh, you all right? I, uh... I'm still well, here, Buck. Yeah. No gun fighting? No. No. No, no. Now get riding. The boss is turning soft, Slim. Yeah. Maybe we tell are... Him, to... Tell him to go back. Slim? Huh? Take him back to the ranch, will you? You sure you don't want it? I, uh... Steady, Buck. Are you fellas going back? All right. All right. Now, you're going, Buck. Where? Out of Paradise Valley. You've got a gun on me. You can talk big. That bother you? Here, I'll toss it in the river. Now, Buck, have I got any advantage of you? No. 
But you're going after that gun. You want it? You're going to have it. Oh, you don't. Are you coming with me? You cooled off, Brad. Oh, well, you're going to get on and run, huh? <laughs> I reckon it's me that's poisoning the water holes now, huh? All right. You're going to go, Buck? Yeah. I'll go. I'll go. Yeah. <laughs> so long, Buck. Valley, Pet. That's right, Miss Harlow. If you won't stay for Steve Hunt, I suppose there's no use hoping that you'd stay for me. But I could use a foreman. Miss Harlow, why don't you make Steve your foreman? And I mean really your foreman. Your husband. Mm-hmm. There's something in that. If I can't have you. Well, the last job you offered me, uh, that got me into trouble. I know. But things are different now. Oh, you better keep them that way. Goodbye, Miss Carlotta. I reckon I better be riding on. Go on, Topaz, boy. All right, Sandy, let's go. Yeah. Not a beautiful valley, Sandy. So to hate to leave. You had a good chance to stay, you mulehead. Why is it, Tex, that you're always wanting to move along? I like to ride through new country again. Now, we keep on like this, we'll run out of new country. And I'd like to save some from old age. <laughs> you don't need to worry about old age, Sandy. I don't. Why not? Because you're never going to make it. And neither will I. in Paradise Valley. And the last we heard of Buck Gander, he was hightailing it for the border. And Tex got word that Miss Carlotta and Steve hitched up as a team after all. Which just goes to show you that some folks do settle down. But you take me and Tex, for I'll never forget the time we had over in the Pecos country. Yeah, and maybe I'll tell you about it next week. I guess you might call it Revenge in Gold Town. And it's just as mean as it sounds. So, if you're a mind to drop around next week and hear it, it'll be here on the Zane Gray Show. I'll be seeing you. Featured in the Zane Gray Show was Don McLaughlin as Tex Thorne. The entire production was under the direction of Emmett Paul. Next week, Revenge in Gold Town, another hard-hitting story of the Old West on the Zane Gray Show. This is the world's larger network serving more than 450 radio stations, the mutual broadcasting system.